I'm gonna get a little personal here. My what? mom adopted two foster kids. Oh yeah. And that honestly, it wasn't really good for my morale because like it kind of made me feel like, is like. Now that I'm older now, I realize like how selfish, like how selfish it was of me to be like to think this way. Like a jealousy <laughs> thing. Yes. Was that really something that you experienced as yes. late as your like late teens? Yes. Really? Why? Because it made it made me feel like uh, my it made like it made me feel like I was like not important to my parents anymore. But your parents still like talked to you and shit, didn't they? <laughs> right, but like the thing is, like most of their attention was focused on the two boys, and like like I said, it's like having now now that I'm older now, it's like I having realize, siblings. Like now that I'm older now, like I realize how sense like how selfish of a thing that was of me to think mm -hmm. but, like at the time like that was it was a really big like impact on my like on my morale my well-being everything like that you know what i mean mm -hmm. <laughs> but like that was all kind of happening at the crux of all this uh like all this high school stuff with all these teachers and everything mm -hmm. So, so naturally... like, your your concept of, like, oh, adults being, like, semi-good people was kind of crushed by that. Yes, exactly. It's like, my, it's like my parents aren't, like, validating my concerns about stuff like that. Like, my, my new adoptive brothers have, like, ruined all my shit. Well, Wes, and my I parents don't, don't care. I personally don't think that that experience is that unique. Um, I'm not trying to, like, take anything away from you. No, here. You're, you're fine. I'm just saying, like... I think that there is a point in everyone's life and it happens around the same time as you where you just kind of realize that your parents ate shit. And like I don't mean that I don't mean to like say anything bad about anyone's fucking parents, but like No, dude, you like, got a point though. When, like... when you're when you're a teenager, that's when you start to realize that your parents aren't fucking superheroes and like you kind of see how flawed that they are. Um yeah. and that just happens for like every adult in your life that you have any respect for is you kind of like start to see um how they crumble and stuff like that. And so, like, your parents getting your foster children and starting to ignore you made you realize that they can't really distribute, like, attention, attention properly. Yeah. Um, and that's a flaw, in, in a sense. Um, um, not, not, and that's not even something, that's not even a flaw that can really be remedied because, like, I can definitely see if you've got a lot of kids, including your foster kids, it's going to be hard to divvy up the attention. Um, but, like, yeah, like, that for you was how you kind of, like, became disillusioned to the idea that adults are fucking like just like that that adults have it together yeah um and then when you actually become an adult like we are um young adults but still um you kind of realize hey I, like very few people have it together and like everybody's just kind of faking it till they make it really i mean like no matter how stable you are there's definitely like times you just gotta fucking like make shit up as you go and that's i think that's what being a parent is and like so through that experience and tell me if i'm wrong you realize that your parents were flawed and then you realize that they were you kind of loved them more for that you know because once you're once you were like family and like authority figures become humanized you start to like them even more because of that am i wrong? right yeah exactly so it's I'm, like i was saying though like <laughs> like now that I'm older, I realize, like, it was important for me to go through that sort of thing when I was younger, you know what totally. I mean? Totally. It was nothing that my it just, parents... Like, that's, was... all, that's what I'm saying, is, like, it manifests itself in different ways for everybody. And some people never figure it out, and that's bad. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the thing is, like, trials... You get trials in life because, like, you're supposed to grow from them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, like, I'm not particularly religious or anything like that, but, like, I'm a believer that, like... If something hard gets thrown your way, that's like, you gotta like, you gotta buck up, you gotta deal with it, you know? Totally. <laughs> and so I'm really glad that I learned that lesson, like, in my teenage years. Because it's helping me grow into an adult. And there you have it, folks. That was really deep, surprisingly. That was like, a, that was a really good bit. Yeah, I like that. Because, like, I like to think that a lot of our audience is, like, the same age or, like, maybe a little bit younger than us and... We're probably all going through the same shit, so hopefully, hopefully somebody's listening. But I mean, like, look at us now. Like, we're we're 21. We're moved out. Like, 21. <laughs> 21. Like, <laughs> the thing is, the recently thing is. I I've learned. <laughs> thing is, you're banned. The thing is, uh, like, I've learned that life is really what you like, what you make of it. You know, as cheesy as that sounds. Eh, yeah, you're right though. It, that's how it is. Like, the only one that can help yourself, like, the only one 
that can help you is yourself. That's true. And I'm and like, that's not to say that everybody's like out, that everyone's a fucking alone in this world, because that's not true either. God fucking damn it. Exactly. But like, ultimately, it is on you to seek help. Yeah. From outside sources, like. Well, a good a good thing to bring up at this point would be like people who are like who need help with something or people who like have an addiction problem or people who are just really fucking depressed. Like you, you can't, it's, it's so hard to make it through that on your own. Like, and like something that you need to do for yourself is like asking people for help and like making sure that you know that people are aware of your problems and stuff like that. And if you, if you don't do that, then you'll crumble. And so when we say that, like, some shit that you just have to deal with on your own, maybe that's just one of the things you have to deal with on your own. Like, they always say that that's, like, the hardest part is, like, confessing to people about your fucking shit. And so that's a huge part of that as well. This was, this recording session got, like, really profound really quickly. I know. Usually it's just joking yeah. around talking about dicks and shit and then saying shit about how Todd Howard, like, got assassinated at E3 and saying if I can gaslight you. Alright, welcome back everybody. I'm gonna see if I can make it past this asshole without fucking dying. Oh, dude, that cat is itching the back of my throat. The cat? Yeah. Oh, you're having allergies? Yeah. That's I'm, I'm gonna go take a Benadryl, I think. See, I, that doesn't happen to me, and like, I always grew up with like, allergies and shit, but like, Humphrey hasn't really been bothering me that much. Wait, is that just where I came from? No. Is this where I came from? Yes. Cool. Sorry, I'm getting lost in Death Mountain here, even though I have a pretty good idea of where I need to go. This game was, like, unnecessarily hard. I hate this game. I do not like this game. If we beat this fucking game, it's gonna be a fucking miracle. Remember in, like, the first few episodes when I was, like, generally trying to explain how I thought this was a good game? I take it back. Just kidding, I actually do think this is a good game, but fuck is it hard. <laughs> fuck Zelda. No, it's not even hard, I'm just <laughs> bad at it. That's the thing, is like... It's a fun game if you're good at it, but neither of us are good at it, so fuck it. Remember when we were playing Smash 4 on the Wii U? And there were those guys, like, they're, they're like, their avatar was like a really shitty looking, like, almost troll face-esque sort of look to it. And then they would just beat our ass? <laughs> they would, they would beat our ass, and like, they would change their name to like, so mad, so bad, like, stuff like that, you know yeah. what I mean? But like, the thing is like, shit like that worked. Remember when like, we got inspired by that sort of trash talk, and we just made all of our taunts something like, you bad bro, and like, get good? <laughs> Go back to FIFA. Oh, is that what we said? That was one of them. That was go back yours. to FIFA. That was that was like your that was like your specialty. <laughs> go back like back to FIFA or something like that. When I look back on shit like that, it makes me think that like I was generally funnier than I am now. So I don't, I don't want to think about that. Well, at least I can see if I can get away with not losing that life now. Yeah, true. I wouldn't really count on Zelda Two being a kind mistress though. Me neither. Anything can happen at any time in this game. It's so fucking unpredictable. There we go. Can you use life spell? I have to have a full fucking life bar to use life. So what's the point of leveling up magic then? Because eventually Make I'll get good. Make a save good. here. He's still gonna kill you. No, he's not. Told you. This guy might though. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Hell yes! Okay, Let's not save. cut this part out, because I want everyone to see how fucking good I am. See, that's the thing, is, like, I don't get how, like... It, it, and this goes for, like, literally any game, because there's no game where I'm just, like, drop-dead good at. I don't get how people are so consistently good at video games. Because, like, to me, the human experience is just, like, being good at stuff sometimes and being bad at it sometimes. Like, there's nothing where I'm just, like, always, always gonna be a fucking good at. And maybe that's just because I'm an untalented piece of shit. Jack of all trades, but master of none, you know? Um, but, like, I genuinely feel like just being good at video games is hard in the fact that you're just, like, consistently good at it. There we go. Thank God I brought a change of clothes. That's pretty much how we feel after this. You know, I was watching some of our old videos the other day. Really? And uh, there was a part, there was there was a voice clip that I had that was very uh, it was very profound. What was it? <laughs> it's me. It's like, well, folks, you know what they say: if you're stuck and have nowhere else to go, cheat. 
<laughs> when we were in the forest temple. It just reminds me of Pro Jared saying, Yes, I cheated, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Which is why this results in a failed marriage out of ten. I was talking to one of my coworkers about, like, controversies on YouTube. Um, he's one of those people who's, like, not really a gamer, so he doesn't really understand, like, the pro Jared thing. But he did hear about the James Charles shit. And so, like, I kind of explained to him, like, the pro Jared stuff. And he was like, oh, that's interesting. And I'm just like, yeah. Like, and that's the thing is, like, I don't... Like, what I told him is, like, I don't really mind the fact that, like, Jared's getting his ass blasted because he did a really shitty thing. And he brought up, like, a really good point. It's just, like, it's... I just, like... At the end of the day, I feel like it's nobody's business. And, really like, that kind of shined with me because, like, it's really not. But damn it if it isn't hard to, like, make fun of Pro Jared for being a piece of shit. <laughs> and I think that half of it is, like, not just the fact that he was a piece of shit, but the fact that he's Pro Jared and he was a piece of shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it wouldn't have been... I don't think it would have <laughs> been as big of a controversy if it was somebody who was any less goofy than Pro Jared. But Pro Jared is just inherently, like... He's just this dorky-ass guy who... Like, ad against all odds, was got in trouble for fucking sending nudes to teenagers and cheating on his wife. Like, that's that's unfair. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, where's the fucking <laughs> fairness in that? I feel like it's a humbling experience more than anything else. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. The thing is, like, when people have bad experiences, it's 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 definitely like a sit down and shut the fuck up type moment. You know? I feel like the world is just like ready to remind you at any given moment, like, you ain't shit. You know? Yeah, like right now? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus exactly. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. I can't believe this game only gives you three lives. Nintendo must have had like a very big, like, strong amount of confidence in the players at this game. I don't think that they had any fucking confidence in the player. Well, clearly, like, Nintendo, like, Miyamoto didn't, because we got, like, a reskin version of Doki Doki Panic for Mario Bros. 2. Because hang on, hang Mi on, hang Miyamoto on. said... Hold that thought, hold that thought. Alright, we're back. Fuck. We'll get this, folks. We will get this. Mark I swear, we're stopping this recording as soon as we get the fucking hammer. I bet this looks easy, too. It's not. Spoiler alert, it's not. It's not easy. No, but seriously, Zelda no, but 2 is a not, really hard game. It's not easy. See, look at this guy. I couldn't even fucking see the fire to jump out of the way. Uh, oh my god. I'm getting sick of the music. I'm getting sick of being here. I'm sweating like a fucking disgusting prostitute. Just kidding. That's <laughs> That sounds sexist. Um... But, you know what I mean. Uh, fucking Weston is the only reason this is a remotely enjoyable experience, to be honest. I don't know about that one, Super Chieftain. What do you mean? I don't know. I've always kind of felt like my commentary was subpar, but... Doesn't matter, just being here with you, like... It's like we're going through a traumatic experience together. It's a exactly. bonding. It's the bros helping bros. Oh! Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, yeah, I used the save state. You could probably deduce that from the fact that I've got one fucking life left. But I don't care, because I'm not doing this whole fucking shit again. The thing is, Nintendo themselves has made save states available to people, like, via their uh, virtual console. They want you to cheat. So, exactly. The thing is, like, that's why I don't really see any shame in using save states. What, just because Nintendo lets you do it? That's the only reason you feel okay with it? It's a legal way to play the game, and they're allowing you to do it. That's the way I look at it. Easy money, holy shit. I know, look at how fucking lucky we are. Alright, so, well, now that I know that I didn't even have to go that fucking way, this fucking hammer guy, or axe guy, is probably gonna respawn. Okay, no, cool. <laughs> Ain't God good? Well, that guy is. Yeah, why not? I don't think I'm gonna get out of this alive, so I'll just level up. At least it refills your health. Cool. These guys don't mean shit until you get the down thrust anyway.
Maybe life would have been a better investment. Maybe I can get... Maybe I can do life now. Oh, nope, I can't. Okay, this guy's gonna fucking ream me in this narrow-ass hallway. Yep, he's still following me. Alright, he's gonna kill my ass if I fucking stay here. Okay, yep. Okay, yep, 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 get out, get out. That's horseshit right there. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go fucking see if I can get another magic thing here. May I stand on see, what I like is in uh, newer Zelda games, like, it beeps for a little bit and then it goes away. Yeah, and like, outside of Ocarina of Time, it's like, Bruh. and then it stops. Ooh, you are brave. You're a brave gamer. Shit! Was that you? What? That I hit your toe? Yeah, you're fine though. That, that hurt pretty bad. Alright, let's try this one more time. Yes, I cheated, and I'm okay with that. Okay, when he fucking throws more than one at the fucking same time, that's bullshit. Here's what we do. We go to Zelda 2. We go to Google. We look up Zelda 2 save state. Save editor. Oh! Set up. Maybe I can get one hit out of this shield. Nope. That's like the biggest blue ball moment. It's like we're low enough that we can't use our magic to recover our health. Like, it's high enough that we can use shield, but... We're not going to benefit from it because he's still just going to kill us anyway in one hit. I'm sweating so fucking much. The controller is greased heavily with the fucking palm sweat in my hands. And I say to myself, you will back down. Can I try? Give me one more go. Okay. This is the one. I'm just gonna pull some fucking Super Mario Bros. strats. <laughs> well, give me one more go. Alright, you're good. This is the real one. This is the fucking final one. See, they put this guy here because they knew how fucking hard it was. Ugh. Ugh. Save, 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 oh save. God. No, we're done. We're done. Oh, really? Yeah. There we go.